In this tutorial, we are going to see how to download and use uh, games for PC, downloaded from bigfishgames.com, and use them on a Linux Mint 18.3 uh, system, and above, of course, and below as well. I mean, you just need Wine. So if you haven't got Wine installed, just the first thing that you need to do is just uh, yeah, check the link in the description. Um, you need to install Wine Stable version 3.0. And when you're done that, after you're done that, then nice, uh, yeah, you, you're going to need uh, play your Linux as well. And I'm putting the, the link in the description as well, but you can easily uh, get it from the software manager. I think that's much easier. Uh, in case of Wine, uh, yeah, my suggestion is just uh, download Wine from uh, Wine headquarters because the version available in the software manager is uh, really old, so it's a bit useless, really. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, just download whatever game you, you want to play. So you can see here we have games for PC and Mac. And I prefer hidden object games. And here, for example, Age of Reality. Okay, just... Okay, if you click on play now, I, I've got an account, so but I'm not showing you my account at this stage because we don't need it right now. But if you don't want to lose your games and uh, I mean, if you're switching from Windows to Linux, uh, I ditched Windows completely because uh, Windows then really pissed me off, so I'm never going to use it again. And so my point is that if you don't want to lose your games, the games that you've already bought from Big Fish Games website, then you can play them um, with Linux easily. So download your game. Okay, normally this is very easy because it's just a link. Okay. Okay, I can check here. Yes. Now, the next thing to do, so here you can see that I've do downloaded the link to, uh, to the game. So the next thing to do, I have to open Play on Linux. Here it is. And it's a, uh, I really like Play on Linux. It's a very, very nice, um, yeah, very nice software which allows you to, to install a lot of Windows games and not only, you know, also software, general software as well. So once you get to the Play on Linux um, yeah, site, uh, interface, yeah, just click on install and then install a non-listed program. Okay, next. Install a program in a new virtual drive. Yes, so every time you have to uh, every time you do this, you need a new virtual drive, okay? Because uh, playing Linux will create a, a particular drive, a virtual drive for every single game. So you better keep them separately. Don't put, don't use the same drive all the time. So in my case, so this is Age of Reality. I just going to type Age to make it simple. Okay, so. Uh, here, check use another version of Wine, configure Wine, and install some libraries. This okay. This is a, a tweak that we can use for certain games. Okay, it's not necessary every time, but it's better to yeah, it's better to install some libraries just to make sure because the latest games they need uh, DirectX 9, I believe, 10 or 11. So we're going to install those next. System is a 301. This is Wine, uh, the Wine version. So that's why you need to have it installed before uh, doing this. Okay, next. And now, uh, mostly uh, the games in Windows are 32 bits. So I just click on the first one. And my way, anyway, my. Uh, my system is 64, 64 bit. So uh, when you first set up Wine for your configure Wine for your system, you will have to um, also make sure that you got the i386, which is the architecture for 
for using 32-bit software. Anyway, you, you will find all that kind of information on uh, Wine Headquarters. Okay, now we have to wait a second. Okay, now here, this is very, very important. You have to, Windows version, this is one, the one configuration. So you can see the Windows version is set for Windows 7, but we actually need XP. Just XP is very important uh, to run the Big Fish game console. Then navigate to graphics and select automatically capture the mouse in full screen windows and then apply. And then OK. And after that, you can see here that we have a list of uh, libraries and other things that we need for playing games. So uh yeah sometimes like if you if your game doesn't work right away you have to um understand what's what's missing from the libraries and then install it manually from here so in my case this is just to show you for the purpose of this tutorial yeah so for example sometimes uh, some games they need um like particular audio codecs or whatever yeah sometimes I had a game that like RPG game for example needed um, yeah some particular yeah here we have some particular like quartz yeah particular uh, libraries so install direct play DirectX these are all the DirectX so we have so the best one are 10, 11, and 9. I always install the three of them just to make sure. <clears throat> okay. It won't take long. Now, please select the, the install file to run. You have to browse to your download folder and then have a look at the. Here it is Age of Reality. Okay. And then next. You have to be online to do this because now the pro okay is downloading the um, Big Fish game console, but you need to be online because it will connect to it almost immediately. Okay, I agree. This is the license. Okay. Now, uh, this is not going to work as it normally does with Windows, so just put whatever here and yeah, you see, so it's going to disappear because it's not working properly with Linux at this stage. However, and I, as you can see here, it's, it has started downloading already because this is just a demo, it's a limited uh, demo, but if I want to sign in, then you have to just hover your mouse on the left side of the menu and on PC games and you will see the internet connection available. Now at this stage, I wait a second, I click on game series and I wait a moment. Yeah, and you can see that when, when you see that all the game series are visible, so it means that it is online and it's working. At this stage, I can sign in to my account. Yeah, I write my... Uh, I'm not telling you my account, of course. Um, okay, so I'm signing into my account and I'm in now. As you can see, like, you, you, okay, I'm in and this is my purchase history here. I haven't purchased a lot of games from them, but quite a few and they're very good. So I don't want to lose them. And now I'm downloading this one. Now, when, uh, uh, which is really very fast. Anyway, when you're done downloading, it's validating already. Wow, you're lucky. Connection is very fast. Okay. Just, it's almost done. So just bear with me for a few more seconds. Okay. Okay, 100% activating. Now, if we do this, if I uh, click play here, it's a bit of a problem. So we have to go back to um, play on Linux and you will see that there is an error in the uh, play on Linux wine. And at this stage, just uh, click next. 
and it's going to freeze because of course we are just um, yeah tweaking uh, the, this system because there are you can find a list of games that are officially recognized by play on Linux so there is a, if you check their website also if you check wine website you can see the list and there are a lot of games that are already, have been already um, tested but in our case it's okay so we just uh, click cancel and then we go back to the play on Linux um, yes play on Linux this one, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> okay anyway we can uh, yeah close our uh, big fish games console we don't need her right now but anyway it's working and what we're gonna do now okay so, so what we're gonna do now is it playing Linux yes so we're going to click on configure configure and yes we got age here uh, make a new shortcut from this virtual drive yes just click yes and now is it, was that Hunter Legacy the name of the game? I, remember. I think it was. Okay, Age of Reality, yes, Hunter Legacy and the next. And that's it. And then we don't want any more shortcuts. I don't want to make another shortcut. Yeah, if you want, you can make it for Big Fish Game Launcher, but it's not necessarily really. I mean, because every time you want to install a game, you have to repeat this process. Um, anyway, it's not that complicated anyway. Then next. Okay, so we've done everything. And now we can... Okay, close. Play on Linux. Yes. Okay, we can uh, end up just double click on Hunter Legacy and let's see if it's working fine. Yeah, and there you go. So, this is Age of Reality, Hunter's Leg Legacy. I have no clue whether this is a good game or not, but as you can see, I mean, the graphic is pretty good. And click to continue. Play with sound. That's very cute. Okay. And it's working. Hey, I found it. Okay, I'm just going to skip it just to show you that it's um, okay, just to show you that it's working regularly. Play. It looks good. Okay, custom. Okay, whatever. I'm just, you know, playing around. We are gathered here for the reading of Abe Hansen's will. His niece, Julia Hansen, will okay, inherit. Okay, I'm just the keeping the game just to show you that it's working perfectly. Okay. Hey, um, that's my suitcase. Okay. So as you can see, everything is working fine. There are quite a few uh, taxis. This poor dog needs my help. Oh, poor dog. Okay. No. Okay. That's it. Now we can just go to the main menu and quit. And that's it. You're done.